Happy Independence Day, everybody. Welcome to Pet Talks July 4th extravaganza. If you're thinking about a holiday getaway, how about bringing your beloved pet along? More and more spots are rolling out the pet welcome mat. Let's find out more from Carol Bryan, who is with Fido Friendly Magazine, a fabulous magazine covering doggy travel, fitness, health, wellness, and fashion. She is back visiting with her baby Dexter already for the 4th of July. And Happy 4th of July to you both, and congratulations. Fido Friendly is celebrating your 50th issue. I absolutely love it, Carol. It's a wonderful magazine, and I have to say, this is not your 50th anniversary issue, but this is an issue that I was reading, and you have this wonderful story about Oogie, who is a pit bull who was used as bait. And it's a happy ending, but it just goes to show the diversity of the magazine because it is not only about fashion and mm -hmm. fitness and travel, it also has some very serious uh, stories and it's really lovely. So congratulations again. Thank you. We feel like puppies still, but we, we are 50 issues old. It's fantastic. <laughs> and I know you introduced us to the magazine the last time you were on yes. here. And I had some wonderful response from viewers who uh -huh. just sort of found you. So we want to find those others who didn't find you last time. So we're going to start out, since this is the holiday and a lot of us are traveling with their pooch, yes. uh, let's talk about some pet friendly spots. And the sure. first one is right here in Greenwich. And we actually did a story here for Pet Talk a little while ago and that is the Delamar. We loved it there, ah. the Delamar Greenwich Harbor. They rolled the red carpet out for Dexter and myself. When we checked in, they not only gave us the typical goodies that you would get, but there was a personalized pet tag with his name and their phone number on it. And why that's really valuable is because if your dog goes missing or something happens and you're away, you're not home. So someone needs to look at that tag. There's his name embossed on it, and there's the phone number. Not to mention the glorious views. They asked me, did I want to take a ride on the yacht to take Dexter to a private island? We didn't have time to do that, but there are so many things there. You just feel like first-class citizen when you walk in, and, and that's how we're treating our dog. And Dexter, I know, had a good time. The second in Nantucket, one of my favorite spots, these are the Wolf Cottages. Tell me about these. Yes, these are cottages located right overlooking the harbor. Beautiful cottages. Take your dog. They have a bus who, what, that will come, take you and your dog, a little van, to all the different pet-friendly beaches. And when you check in, again, they're rolling out the red carpet. It's not just goodies, but we got sunscreen. We had a list of veterinarians and things to do in the area. And, of course, they had Fido Friendly Magazine. It's really a nice getaway for someone who wants that water beachside vacation. Oh, yeah, I love Nantucket. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now this surprises me, Arlington National Cemetery. I would not think that this would be a pet-friendly choice. And it is. Dexter and I hiked it. We took our little Dexter backpack and my backpack, and we hiked Arlington for the day. We went to findagrave.com. I got to see some of the most famous people. So many are buried there, and it's such an honor to be able to walk with my dog through there. Just make sure your dog is well behaved if you're going to take a trip like that. But it's a perfect day trip, especially around this area. Uh, and last but not least, one of my favorite spots, <laughs> Las Vegas. Absolutely. What happens there stays there, right? Exactly. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays with Fido. The Mandalay Bay, the, it's called The Hotel, is welcoming Fido now. We couldn't believe it. There are plenty of things to do with your dog in Las Vegas. Gourmet meals when you check it, and the price wasn't outlandish. They also have a concierge that will walk your dog for you. So if you want to do a little gambling or you need a pet sitter, that's all part of your, your price when you're staying at the Mandalay. Okay, now we have some wonderful products, too, because it is mm -hmm. the season. It's summer season, and you know we've had a lot of rain lately, yes. and uh, you have a really nice slicker there. We do. This is from, we like to say, Bark is the New Black. And this was a graduate of the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. She designed this for her company, Les Pets en Voyage. Mm. And what it is, it's a raincoat with all different gear from New symbols and gear from New York on it. But if you take this off your dog, it also doubles as a one ounce pouch and has a little clip. You could put your dog's treats and goodies in it. Oh, it starts to rain. This is something that the big dogs could look good in or the smaller dogs. And she's got them available from everything from a Chihuahua to a Great Dane. Oh, that's great. That so really comes really, in handy. And yeah. It just goes into a little pouch yes. so that's easy to use. Uh, this, I think, is something for us. <laughs> this it is absolutely is. adorable. This is, this is our favorite little newest bling item from Rembrandt Charms. All you have to do is go to Rembrandt Charms and pick out different things that represent your dog. So I give them Dexter's picture, and I told them that I spend an arm and a leg on my dog. They put a little credit card charm on there, a little dog house with Dexter's picture in it. And what's nice is it doesn't break the bank because the charms are $14 a piece. Next, we have an item that is incredibly uh, important mm -hmm. for all dogs, really. This is from Neopause, and what we liked about this was it had a sturdy 
uh, chest protector underneath. So if your dog happens to be out and he falls in the water, for extra buoyancy, mm -hmm. you can pick your pet up right with the handle. It has a nice reflective strip for at night. It's also very sturdy and we like that the fact that these are made of nylon and it's not going to cut into the dog. Absolutely. So this is just one of those must-haves. It really is. We have um, something here that is for your fleas and ticks, which of course is very yes, important. Yes, speaking of fashion, fleas are not fashionable. No. And this is a chemical alternative. All you do is you put these little tags on your dog's collar and wow. you want to make sure that the energy strip is facing your the, your dog. One which for this fleas, is the energy slip, one for right? ticks. Yes. And this is good for four months and shoe tag guarantees that this will keep fleas and ticks wow. shooed from your dog. Shoe. And next we have a... It actually is a vest from Rivers okay. West. And being that I have a boy dog and we like to do a lot of hiking and camping, this is really nice because it has the reflective 3M stripping nice. on it. You take this for your on your dog. You don't want to put it on him if it's 65 degrees or up because it's that warm. Mm -hmm. And it's guaranteed waterproof for 10 years. And it'll keep your dog warm and dry. We have one more item. I don't want to miss that. That is our blanket. Yes, and this is from Rivers West also. And I like this for the car. Again, it's waterproof. Um, they've been around for, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years. And this is the kind of thing you might think, well, what's so great about it? The warmth factor, the waterproof factor. And if I go like this, it just repels the hair. Right. And so this goes along with the vest, but it's uh, one of those staples that I carry with me because I just like Dexter to have something comfy, but I could take it out. I could set it on the ground when we're camping. So there's something for everybody. Yes. So, Carol, once again, where can we find you? I think folks should log on. Fido Friendly Magazine. Yes, come to FidoFriendly.com. We're giving away vacations. We have a great one coming up for Hotel Phillips. We're giving away a Wolf Cottage vacation right now. And you never know what you're going to win, see, or do if you come to our website. Well, thank you for being here again. Thank you, Dexter. <laughs> you went to celebrate the 4th of July. Exactly. And everybody stay tuned for more of Pet Talks July 4th extravaganza. But as we go to break, here's a fun animal-related Independence Day fact. Did you know that when it comes to patriotic-sounding cities or towns here in the U.S., 35 have Eagle in their names. The most populous one is Eagle Pass, Texas, population 26,000. We'll be blasting right back.